All right, guys, let's talk about a very simple issue to fix that so many people struggle with, and that's what your dog does when the doorbell rings. This is an easy fix. That This should not be difficult to fix. I've talked about it before, but not a ton, because people really, really struggle with it, okay? Um, the go-to method, per se, for a lot of people is to teach the dog a place command when the doorbell rings. If that's what you want to do, that's fine. It's not my way. I don't like it because for a lot of dogs, what that does is it just builds that anxiety and frustration of being stuck on a spot wondering what's on the other side of that spooky door, right? If that's what you do and you have no issues with it, not a problem, then then stick with it. I prefer my dogs and my clients' dogs to be able to go to the door under control and just be normal and greeting people and saying hello and not be in such a basket case when that doorbell rings. So here's a couple of things that make this a very, very easy fix, okay? I've talked about one of them before, but I don't think I've talked about the other before. Now, a lot of people do several different things and never get to where they want to be with their dog. The dog always responds in an excited manner or barking and going crazy when the doorbell rings. First of all, I like to work with the dog on all sides of the doors. Well, what does that mean? I like to work behind the door, inside the house with the door closed, practicing when that doorbell rings what to do. I like to work on the inside of the house with the door open. I like to work on the outside of the house with the door open. And I like to work on the outside of the house with the door closed. Utilizing the bell, working with the dog, teaching them that it's not a big spooky thing. But here's the one addition that makes this very, very easy that I can't believe I've never heard anyone talk about before. And we go back to power of negative reinforcement and the power of the e-collar when used in a versatile way, not just to add corrections and punish your dog, okay? First of all, let me say, do not buy an e-collar and attempt this on your own unless your dog is already properly trained with an e-collar. And when I say properly trained with an e-collar in a way that the dog understands it and you didn't put an e-collar on a dog and just use it to tell the dog no or to stop or to reinforce things, okay? That's not what I'm talking about. If your dog has been trained on an e-collar the way I do it, where it understands what the stimulation means, then this is a great addition to dealing with the, the doorbell thing that works very, very fast. Again, the power of negative reinforcement, right? Okay, so continue to work the stuff on all sides of the door on the outside on the inside door open door closed that alone is very very effective because it gives the dog a picture that there's really nothing crazy going on on either side it takes away that whole mystery of the thing and that alone works very fast if you're doing it correctly now the addition of the e-collar what i like to do and it's really simple but extremely extremely effective okay you know how we start the conditioning process where the e-collar comes on, we give the command, the dog responding to the command removes the e-collar and produces a reward, right? That's how we condition the dog. We go through the whole intermittent phase thing. If you don't know all that stuff and your dog hasn't been through it, don't do this. This is only for people that have gone through the process of teaching their, their dogs properly. Let me say that again. Don't put an e-collar on your dog and do this. And don't buy a piece of crap e-collar and do this, understand? If your dog's been through the process, then this makes it very simple, okay? You'll need someone to help you ring the doorbell. You need one other person, okay? I guess you probably could do it on your own, but it's better with another person, all right? With someone on the outside, you on the inside with your house, the e-collar comes on. Picture like you're going to start conditioning the dog to the, the, the recall, right? The e-collar comes on. The doorbell rings. When the doorbell rings, that is the marker to remove the pressure of the e-collar. The e-collar turns off, you mark it with your reward marker, and you feed. And you do few repetitions at a time, okay? Very quickly, that ringing of the bell, the doorbell, becomes a very positive marker for the dog, okay? The dog already understands the e-collar. Let me stress that again, okay? I'm gonna go over it one more time, very simple. E-collar comes on, doorbell rings, the ringing of the doorbell removes the e-collar pressure, removes the e-collar stimulation, very low level stimulation, right? The dog's working level without distractions. When the e-collar is removed, 
the marker word comes and the dog is rewarded. Extremely simple on painting a very new picture of what the doorbell rings to the dog. I promise you, it's easy. And normally in one session, the doorbell issues are done. I promise. I hope this helps. Peace.